Hi and welcome to the Clarity New Features and Supportability video series for release 16.2.2. My name is Katherine Ellis and I'm a Clarity Product Manager. In this video I'll show you new improvements in the area of investment management. In the prior release we introduced the action to create new risks, issues, and change requests from an existing record. As a follow-up to this enhancement, additional fields are now automatically copied over with values from the source record into the newly created record, and now a toast message confirmation appears providing immediate feedback when the record is successfully created. Simplifying the investment object label from common investment to simply investment is essential for enhancing usability to create a cohesive user experience. In modules and workspaces that provides data from multiple objects, this label change is apparent when looking at the object names in such places as the column panel, filtering, widgets, and the details subtab field configuration panel. If you recall the enhancements to the investment status field in release 16.2.1 where it provides the user with a dynamically populated list of choices based on business logic, the user enjoyed this behavior in each of the different types of investments for when it was configured in the grid only. Now in release 16.2.2, the new behavior for this investment field to dynamically populate the list is now available on the Details Flyout panel and the Properties module inside the investment. The existing Auto Schedule functionality that was only available for projects is now available for any custom investment type. Controlled through an Access Right schedule in browser, when the manager also has edit permissions for the investment, two new actions will appear on the Task Module timeline for the manager to create a tentative schedule or to use the Auto Schedule feature. Let's jump right into the demonstration. Let's review our Blueprint configuration. The Risks module is enabled to allow creating a new issue from a risk. Let's look at the Create modal for the issue. It contains the name, description, category type, and assign to fields. The Issues module allows risks to be created from an issue. So let's go back and see what the fields are on the Risks Create modal. These fields are not on the modal. Now let's take a look at how this works. We'll go to the Issues module first and create a new risk using an issue as the source data. The new risk modal appears without these fields because they are not configured on the modal. A new toast message appears indicating the new risk is created successfully. Let's look at the new record. This new risk indeed has the description, category, and assigned to data values from the source issue. Now let's create a new issue from the existing risk. The new issue modal appears with these fields as configured from the blueprint. 
With the fields shown, we can change any of the values as desired, and they are pre-populated from the source risk. A new toast message appears indicating the new issue is created successfully. The new issue is created with data from these fields. This behavior also applies for the changes module. Let's take a quick look at our label changes from common investment to investment Let's go into the Tasks workspace. When looking at the column panel, it shows Investment. Now you can see when using the filter here and across other places, the grouping for Common Investment is now simply Investment. And when looking at the configuration for a widget, the grouping of the fields for selection simply shows investment. These are just a few examples, and it is the same throughout Clarity where the investment object is used. If you recall in the last release, we enhanced the investment status lookup to dynamically show the available choices based on business logic of the field, and it was implemented in the grid only. In the Investment Management feature and Supportability video for release 16.2.1, a few examples were shown across various types of investments, such as projects, ideas, and custom investment types, using the lookup in the grid and illustrating how the values changed based on a combination of the current value, the progress field, and the financial dates. In this release, the functionality for the status lookup is now working in the Details flyout and in the Investment Properties page. I'll just show you an example here in the Projects list, but the same enhancement is available for the other investment types. Let's open the Details panel and compare the functionality. See the choices from the field in the grid, and here they are the same in the Details tab. The second project is unapproved and has different values. Let's change the progress to started. Now the new values are dynamically populated. Let's change this one to on hold and go into the properties page. From here, we can see the valid values and change the status to Resumed. For more details on how the underlying business logic works, refer to the online documentation and the 16.2.1 Feature Supportability video series. With this final implementation, users will save time in updating the field with valid values presented. Many of our customers have asked for the ability to use auto-scheduling in custom investments to maintain a disciplined approach in investment management. The Clarity Auto-Schedule algorithm is a feature that automatically schedules tasks and investments. It uses predefined parameters and dependencies to optimize the scheduling process. By leveraging auto-schedule, investment managers can save time and effort in creating and adjusting schedules, leading to more efficient task management. Our investment manager can edit the investment and has been granted the schedule in browser access right for this type of investment. Let's go into the Tasks module. This investment has been created with a work breakdown structure with assigned staffed resources. 
As you can see, the WBS does not seem realistic, as all the tasks are starting at the same time. There are two new actions on the timeline layout, the Create Tentative Schedule and Auto Schedule. Creating a tentative schedule simply puts the plan into a tentative mode for changing task dates without using scheduling. Let's use Auto Schedule. We'll push the start date out and include resource constraints. Once the schedule is created, it is now a tentative schedule for which the manager can make further manual adjustments. For example, enabling the auto shift successors and moving a task that has a successor task will move these tasks a specific number of days. If the schedule is acceptable, the manager can publish the changes. Thank you for your attention. Quickly create new risks, issues, or changes while preserving data from existing ones. Experience a seamless user experience and enhanced accessibility with our updated label for the investment object. Say goodbye to guesswork and hello to dynamic choices when using the investment status field. Invest in your team's productivity and success by simplifying scheduling with Clarity Auto Schedule today.